Olivia Hart, a loving mother who adopted a child she saw on a Facebook orphanage post, was met with skepticism by doctors when they first met Matilda, a six-year-old girl who weighed only nine pounds at that time. Despite the initial doubts about her transformation and recovery, years later, it is astonishing to see how she turned out. Stay tuned to discover what happens next. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories. It was a typical day for Olivia Hart in her home in Canberra, Australia. As she completed her daily tasks, she settled on the sofa and began scrolling through Facebook. Suddenly, something caught her eye. Photos posted by an orphanage of a young girl named Matilda. At just six years old, Matilda's body resembled that of a baby, weighing a mere nine pounds. Her condition was heartbreakingly severe. The images showed Matilda curled up in a fetal position, her features sunken and atrophied. Her muscles were chiseled, her bones visible through her delicate skin. Olivia's heart sank as she gazed upon the child's utter despair. She felt a profound connection to Matilda, as if they had known each other for a lifetime. This feeling of deep empathy haunted Olivia for the rest of the evening. The photos painted a vivid picture of Matilda's suffering, stirring emotions within Olivia that she couldn't shake. She found herself unable to stop thinking about the little girl, her mind consumed by the desire to help alleviate Matilda's pain and provide her with the care and nourishment she so desperately needed. Olivia's maternal instincts had been awakened, and she knew she had to do something to make a difference in Matilda's life. Olivia Hart was already an adoptive mother of a beautiful baby girl from India, and she had also given birth to a biological son. Despite her full family, Olivia was deeply moved by Matilda's story when she saw her photos on Facebook. Determined to help, she decided to take the next step and bring the little girl into her family. Her husband James was well aware of his wife's deep affection and compassion for children. Despite having the ability to conceive more children, they had made the selfless choice to devote themselves to improving the lives of those who had endured hardship and lacked the most fundamental comforts of a simple existence. The next morning, Olivia contacted the orphanage, eager to begin the adoption process. However, she soon discovered that the journey would be much more challenging than she had anticipated. Matilda was from Malta, and the procedures were notoriously difficult. The bureaucratic red tape was a nightmare, especially considering the girl's fragile health. The process took an entire year to complete, with Olivia facing numerous setbacks and obstacles along the way. Despite the turmoil, she remained steadfast in her determination to give Matilda the life she deserved. The girl's health issues made every step of the journey a struggle but Olivia's unwavering commitment to her new daughter kept her spirits high. The procedure was quite expensive, and Olivia had invested all their savings to complete the necessary papers and doctor's approvals for Matilda's travel. Unfortunately, the sum wasn't enough, so the couple didn't give up the situation. They decided to raise a call on social media, asking for help from charities and kind-hearted people to save their daughter and provide her a better life and future. After several weeks of collecting the needed sum, Olivia prepared herself to travel for the first time to see Matilda. It was quite a long trip, but she was ready to do whatever it takes to see her. Once she arrived, she headed to the hotel to have some rest, ready for the big day. Tomorrow, she will meet her daughter, whom she had longed to see for a long time. The next morning, Olivia took a cab to the orphanage. The principal welcomed her coldly in his office, discussing the missing paperwork required by the court. Olivia felt a lump in her throat. She didn't expect any further obstacles at this stage. However, when she finally laid eyes on Matilda sleeping peacefully in her bed, Olivia felt an overwhelming sense of relief. The emotions she experienced were akin to those she had felt with her other children. Hey, baby, Olivia whispered tenderly into Matilda's ear. Mommy's here and you're going home with me very soon. Olivia's relief and maternal affection were palpable as she prepared to bring Matilda into her family. Despite the chilly reception and missing paperwork, her determination to provide Matilda a loving home shone through in this tender moment. Once she left the orphanage, 
Olivia was confused about where to start, but was determined to finish the necessary papers and get back home as soon as possible. She took a taxi to the court where she could sign the papers and take custody of Matilda. The court officials told her to come back the next week, scheduling an appointment. Olivia returned on the designated day and together with the court officials, she completed the procedure. After finishing the paperwork, Olivia went back to the orphanage, signed the dismissal papers, and then took Matilda to the airport. Finally, they flew back together to their homeland. Olivia and her husband James were utterly shocked when they saw her delicate, severely underweight condition. They immediately rushed her to the clinic, where the head physician and his team thoroughly examined the girl's case. The parents waited anxiously in the doctor's office for the test results. Olivia was exhausted from the long flight, but her love and determination to help Matilda kept her steadfast as they awaited the findings. The doctors spent several hours analyzing the scans and tests, leaving the parents feeling like an eternity had passed. After conducting the necessary examinations, the doctors delivered the concerning results. Matilda was found to be extremely underweight, and her bones were curved in a worrying manner. And beyond her severe malnutrition and underweight condition, the doctors diagnosed Matilda with a series of diseases and disorders that complicated her treatment. And to address her immediate nutritional needs, the medical team decided to insert a feeding tube through her nose. This would allow them to administer a nutrient-rich formula directly, providing the essential vitamins and minerals she desperately lacked. Then after further examinations revealed additional complexities in Matilda's condition, the doctors diagnosed her with dwarfism and microcephaly, conditions that often occur together. The genetic factors responsible for her dwarfism also resulted in a smaller head size relative to her body, indicating potential cognitive developmental challenges in the future. Additionally, Matilda had clubbed feet, with her feet turned inward toward each other, severely impairing her ability to walk. It was a stark contrast to the typical behavior of a seven-year-old girl who would normally be running around and playing energetically. This revelation underscored the fact that Matilda had never experienced the kind of playful, active childhood that other children take for granted. Fortunately, Matilda's condition regarding her cleft feet was highly treatable. With proper medical intervention, including orthodontics, surgery, and physical therapy, her feet could be corrected to become straight and fully functional. Olivia felt a wave of relief, knowing that at least one aspect of her complex health challenges was manageable. However, this relief was tempered by additional diagnoses that further complicated her recovery. Matilda was also diagnosed with cerebral palsy, a condition that affected her muscle control and coordination, making even simple movements difficult for her. Additionally, she was diagnosed with scoliosis, which caused her spine to curve abnormally, adding to her physical discomfort. These conditions meant that Matilda would face constant challenges and discomfort, necessitating a comprehensive and multidisciplinary approach to her treatment. Despite the initial good news about her feet, the broader picture required ongoing medical attention and a long-term care strategy to address all of her health needs. The doctors emphasized that Matilda's body was very weak and she probably wouldn't make it through any surgeries. Olivia burst into tears, breaking down with a deep sorrow for her daughter. However, after a while, Matilda showed good progress and her vital signs started improving. The doctors then focused on treating her severe acute malnutrition with a special diet. This diet contained hot meals prepared with millets, which are high in nutrients. Millets are rich in protein, essential fatty acids, dietary fiber, B vitamins, and minerals such as calcium, iron, zinc, and folic acid. These nutrients help tackle anemia and other micronutrient deficiencies. The doctor's special diet and Matilda's resilience led to a positive turnaround in her condition, despite the initial grave concerns about her ability to withstand any medical procedures. Olivia's heartbreak gave way to hope as her daughter's health steadily improved through proper nutrition and care. The doctor succeeded in stabilizing Matilda's basic health needs by helping her gain weight. Filled with hope, Olivia became even more determined to help her daughter. She sought out different professors' opinions 
and asked for more funds on social media to help pay for her recovery treatment. Deep in her heart, Olivia knew this was her mission, to take care of Matilda and bring back her childhood, where she would play and laugh like other kids. Matilda was very responsive to the people around her, sensing their care and love. The little girl had been deprived of love and affection during the early stages of her life. Matilda's family came to visit her often, and she was especially delighted on the day her siblings came to meet her for the first time. Olivia and her husband cherished the priceless giggles they heard as they could see their daughter's face light up with a smile. Olivia's older daughter didn't hesitate to encourage Matilda, saying, Hey Matilda, Maddie, if you don't mind calling you Maddie, you must cover up so soon so we can play. I can't wait to see you around our home. Matilda's cheeks turned into a pale pink as she smiled. A good sign, the doctor commented to Olivia after the family departed. The doctor emphasized that the psychological part of Matilda's treatment was as important as the physical. He advised Olivia to provide her with as much love as possible, as it would be crucial for Matilda's recovery and well-being. Matilda's responsiveness to the affection and care from her new family was a testament to the power of love and healing. Olivia and her family were determined to shower Matilda with the love and attention she had been deprived of, knowing it would be a vital part of her journey back to health and happiness. As Matilda gained more weight and her overall health improved, the head professor gave the green light to start the correction of her clubbed feet. The doctors primarily used the Ponsetti casting method, which aimed to gradually realign and reshape Matilda's feet to give her a better posture. After the initial casting treatment, Matilda then underwent a successful surgery to further correct the clubbed feet condition. The combination of the Ponsetti casting and the surgical intervention helped restore proper alignment and function to Matilda's feet, setting her up for improved mobility and a better quality of life moving forward. In addition to addressing Matilda's clubbed feet, the doctors also developed a comprehensive treatment plan to manage her microcephaly and cerebral palsy. These neurological conditions required specialized care and therapies to support Matilda's overall development. Alongside the medical interventions, Matilda was also followed closely by a psychologist who worked hard on helping her accept and cope with the immense physical and emotional pain she had endured. The psychologist's support was crucial in Matilda's healing process. After six years of dedicated care and treatment, Matilda had transformed into a completely different person. She was no longer the shy, withdrawn girl. Her body had undergone an unbelievable transformation. The hair that once covered her entire body for warmth had disappeared, and she was now healthy, with a body that was no longer curved or showing visible bones through her skin. She had transformed into a very active and vibrant girl. Her emotional and intellectual growth was truly remarkable, leaving everyone who had witnessed her initial dire state in awe. It was nothing short of a miracle to see how far Matilda had come. From a severely malnourished and medically fragile child, she had blossomed into a thriving young girl, both physically and mentally. The doctors, psychologists, and Matilda's devoted parents had worked tirelessly to help her overcome the immense challenges she faced. Matilda now attends a specialized school that provides her with the tailored education and support she needs to overcome the challenges posed by her cerebral palsy and microcephaly. The school's dedicated staff work closely with Matilda, employing personalized therapies and learning strategies to help her reach her full potential. Despite the difficulties she faced, Matilda blossomed into an avid artist. She loved to spend her free time drawing and painting, expressing her creativity through vibrant and imaginative works. Her artistic talents were a testament to her resilience and the progress she had made. In addition to her artistic pursuits, Matilda also delighted in physical activities that were once unimaginable for her. She reveled in the joy of jumping and engaging in other playful movements, showcasing the remarkable strides she had made in overcoming the limitations imposed by her medical conditions. Olivia, Matilda's loving adoptive mother, was overjoyed to witness her daughter's transformation. The family Olivia had fostered was a true testament to the power of love, dedication, and the human spirit to overcome even the most daunting challenges. Olivia took immense pride in the fact that she had been able to change the life of a child in need, providing Matilda with the love, support, 
and opportunities she deserved. What an incredibly inspiring story of humanity at its most genuine and compassionate. Witnessing Matilda's remarkable transformation from a severely malnourished and medically fragile child to a thriving, vibrant young girl is truly awe-inspiring. In the comments below, we'd love to hear your thoughts and reactions to this truly inspiring story. What does Matilda's journey mean to you? And would you consider taking on a similar challenge to change the life of a child in need? Share your perspectives and let's continue to celebrate the power of humanity at its finest. Don't forget to turn on the notifications bell for more heartwarming stories. Until the next time.